Hello everybody, my name is Dante and, and this is Precipice. Uh, I know it's taking a little while for the Halloween reviews to go up. Uh, I want you to know I am working on them, but uh, to fill the void, I figured I would uh, I would play a, a little spooky game. So I checked to see what I had, and this is something that I have. I don't know what it is, I've never played it before. I think I got it a long time ago and with this in mind, and I just never played it. Now... I think this is play. I clicked it, and things are happening. Okay, so right off the bat, I'm getting a PT vibe out of this. Why can't I move? Um. Help! I can't, I can't move. Um. Okay, so D works. D and S work. It seems um, not a very good, not not a very good start. Um, I don't speak French, but I do get the I do get the gist of what you're saying. No, um, actually, yes. Okay, um... Let's, 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 let's see here. Uh... Hi... Uh... I, again, I don't speak French, but I think I've been through enough options to know the basics. How do I get out of here? Okay. Audio... Sure, I'll turn it down a little, it's kinda loud. Audio testing. I don't. I don't need to do that. Hmm. Let's try this again. Yes. 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 I get it. We have our little our little roach friend here. Hello, Kevin. Kevin the roach. Where do you go? I don't know. Whoa, 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 I moved forward for a second. Z? Okay, Z moves forward. Um, now if I can only figure out how to move left. Q. S, D, Z, Q. Okay, I guess we'll, uh... Is this just PT? Am I just playing PT now? Hey Kevin, how you doing? Um... Oh god, this is gonna get... <sighs> Fuck me, man. I've played PT games before in the past. Uh, RE77 is one that comes closest to mind, and that was that was okay for what it was. But I'm not huge into the PT style of, you know, just walking endlessly. 
into nothing, pretty much. I mean, I get it. I get why it would be considered scary. I do get that, but for me personally, the roach has moved. For me personally, it's not that great. I mean, the upside, I guess, to this being a PT style of game is, uh, I'm not gonna have to worry about running from things. Which is good, because moving forward is fucking Z. Roaches are gone. So, yeah. I figured I would play something to fill the void, at the very least. Wow, that is loud. Turn down my headset a little bit. But. Yeah, I don't generally do gameplay too much anymore. Uh, I have been wanting to incorporate it a little bit more into my channel again. But I have never... Uh, I don't think I've ever really been that good at gameplay videos. Uh, mostly do, just I am not a very... Um, I guess witty individual. Like, I feel like I shine more in the, uh, the scripted department, where I have, an, uh, I have the chance to sit down and think about the things that I'm going to say, whereas something like this is a little more, you know, on the fly and impromptu improv, just live. But, um... I figured I should at least do, like, impression stuff, because I don't really, uh, I don't really do anything, yeah, this is definitely, definitely, uh, yeah, fuck Konami, man, but, um, I've been wanting to incorporate maybe impressions videos or, or something like this into the mix of uh, reviews to help fill the void if if I can help it but um by the way have things been changing I feel like since the roaches disappeared nothing has changed I don't think anything's actually changing. Oh, good. Um... Seizure warning. Excuse your warning. That's all I have to say about that. At least it did something. <clears throat> like, as it stands, when I played RE77, that was actually... Oh, okay. That was an okay, uh, PT-style continuous game. Um... Like... It, it had uh, good enough moments to where uh, every time you went through the door, at least something would change. Um, this, I think I went through maybe five minutes of rooms. Oh, hello. I went through five minutes of rooms and nothing has changed. But now, something's different at least. My roach friends are still missing, however. I miss my roach friends. I 
I do get the feeling I know exactly how this is gonna end. What the hell was that? Hold on. I thought I saw something. Just maybe it was just a glitch. I don't know. But I do get the feeling I know exactly how this will end, and it's just with a, a big fat jump scare. It's generally how this works. Generally. And there it was again. Yeah, that was that's that's a texture glitch. All right. Ugh. Excuse me. I just yawned. I'm tired. All right. With the flashing lights, can you stop? I mean, they're not. They're only unsettling, like, if I'm viewing them from a distance, at this distance, right in my face. It kind of makes me want to vomit. And it's probably going to kill somebody, so I'm going to have to put a warning in front of this. That is if I don't die. I'm not epileptic, but if I, if I were to find out I'm an epileptic, this would definitely be the video to do it. Jesus. I don't think there's a crouching mechanic, but if there is, we're missing out on some quality jump scare material. Oh. <sighs> Fucking. Please stop with the flashies. Like, TV flash, I can deal. I can deal with TV flashy. Okay, thank you. Jesus. I think I used to have a TV exactly like this. I think it's broken. I think I broke it somehow. I guess I'm gonna do this. A door here? There is a door. Oh, good. Why? Excuse me. I I was busy, you know, analyzing the room before I decided to enter. I saw this. It's actively bleeding. Those are Russian characters. I was a little confused. I was reading the last word there and just didn't even look at these ones. Unless that's the first word. I don't know. But yeah, she's actively bleeding and I feel like something stupid's gonna happen. I can't see, by the way. Like, this seizure inducing light is my only bit of vision. I leave. I just go. Oh. Can I touch this? Well, I guess she's done bleeding now, though. That's nice. Do you want me to do something? Can I turn this fucking thing off? Just looking up into the darkness to give my eyes a break. God damn. <sighs> okay. I'm not really gonna question the fact that there's a mannequin here. 
just because I, it's just shock value, I guess. I don't know. People are scared of mannequins. I'm scared of mannequins. I don't like mannequins. Every time I go to a department store, I'm like, fuck this. I don't know what you want me to do. What is it you would like me to do? Do you want me to to, to, to to stare? Do you want me to kill my viewers? Do you want me to kill epileptics? I'm sorry, this is what the game probably wants me to do. This game probably wants me to kill you. I'm sorry. This isn't my choice. This is just what the game wants me to do. Again, I'm sorry. I can't. I can't actually. Uh, I have no control over uh, the game's desired intentions. Um, this game exists to kill us. You know what? I think I know what happened to the mannequin. It was staring at this TV. The mannequin died because it kept staring at this TV for so long. I am expecting just a jump scare to come at my face at any moment from staring at you. Jesus. Piano? No piano. I'm hearing shit in my actual house. You know what? You should let me leave. Because there's nothing you're gonna do. You're not doing anything in here. I'm just trapped. Is the TV getting brighter? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, if I'm able to interact with stuff... Then it's certainly not letting me interact with stuff. Oh! I couldn't do that before. How do I turn this on? I just picked up a flashlight. How do I turn it on? L for light. Up. I don't think there is actually a way to turn it on. Hey lady, can you, like... You moved, by the way. I'm pretty sure you moved. I think I saw you move. Can I leave? Is that a thing I can do now? Yeah, later. Hey man, at least we ain't dying yet. We're still alive. For now. Okay, I guess I'll go looking around for, you know, something else random and... Random to pick up something. I don't know. Do you want me to take the mannequin with me? The lamp? 
you can one of these random ass coat hangers, a book, the book, TV remote, another book, T take the TV. Fuck, dude. I'm gonna be dead before this ends. If I have to spend another minute in that room, I'm gonna be upset. Yeah, I'm upset. I'm upset. Bye. Okay. Fine. Just trying to wrap my head around what the hell is happening. Why exactly a mannequin's here? Why exactly? I mean, I'm a musician, I guess. <clears throat> but, uh. Demons? Demons, really? Demons? Mannequins, sure, whatever. But demons? This flashlight sucks. Oh, good. A tip for horror developers. Um, flashlights don't work like this. Flashlights do not work like this. Hold on. Hold on. Conjecture. Not conjecture. Interruption. Something. I don't know. Just give me a second. Alright, well, I'm back. That completely backfired. I was going to be a smartass and show that, um, show that flashlights do not do what they do here, but, um, my camera's not very good. I don't have that good of a camera, so, uh, it just made me look like an asshole. Seriously though, what the hell is that? Uh, you know what, I think I get it. I think I get it. Maybe. I'm not going in there, fuck that. I'm not going in there at all.
That room made me start flashing lights. <clears throat> oh good. The flashing lights are back. I will give it to you, flashing lights are somewhat unsettling, but when you do them in excess, you're just gonna kill someone, even if they're red. Okay, I was... Let's just get it over with. No jump scare. I still hear it. It's I'm getting an afraid of monsters vibe out of this thing. Does anyone remember that game? Afraid of monsters? An old game, old game. Ah, there it is. But the basic enemy type in that game were uh, these twitchy little bastards. Seriously, are you moving or are you not moving? Because every time I look at you, you look like you're in a different position. Maybe you've rotated. I don't know, man. I'm leaving. want me to be in here. Okay, I get it. I get it. This is this is a room you desire me to be in. So uh do your worst game. I'm here. Do it. Kill me. Do it. Fuck man. Do you want me to pick up something again? Unplug this light, this fucking, this fucking light. Okay. Is that baby powder? It looks like baby powder. Maybe it's parmesan. I don't know. Do you need something? Dude. This is exactly the reason why I don't like these kinds of games. Is they just... I mean, they do have, like, some kind of potential. It, the, the developers behind these do have some semblance of, like, I know how to make a scary game. With, you know, like, the flashing lights and the unsettling imagery and, and, and just the fucking bloody mannequin. Sure. That's, that's some unsettling shit, but, I mean... There is a point where you, where you gotta be like, okay, you should be able to do something. Like... I should not feel lost 
and confused at what I should be doing. Well, maybe in a sense, yeah, but I mean, I should always be able to be moving forward, not plateau. I don't know if you're saying shush or if you're praying, but whatever. But these these continuous PT type games have all have that moment where you're like, okay, so now what do I do? I reached that moment at some point in RE77 when I played that, and I was like, okay, I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing. There's a fucking door here? What? Okay. Maybe if the flashlight were a little better, I could see that. The mannequin's following me, in a sense, I guess. I don't know. I can blame it on the flashlight, I guess. That's a thing I can blame it on, because I'm not an idiot. Oh. Yeah, see, this... That's unsettling. That's unsettling. I would like to see a narrative with this. Something like this. Give me like... I, I don't know. My mind immediately like goes to Silent Hell, I guess. I guess there's the... Two? What the hell? I thought I saw something out of the corner of my eye over here, but I guess it must have been maybe the shadow of the plant. I don't know, man. Oh, this door's open now. Cool. Some are different. Seriously, with the mannequins. Two things. A. I don't like mannequins. Nobody likes mannequins. I'm hesitant to go in there. But B. Is there any actual reason for the mannequins to be here? Like, at all? As, as far as I can tell, no. There, there's not really much of a reason for the mannequins to be here. IT link. Looks like you've got some good internet, I guess, or at least the internet's on. You can call someone, text someone, whatever. Send an email. Say, hey, some whack job is throwing mannequins in my house. You've got a head now. They've they've changed positions. <sighs> and they've changed again. I always w wonder who has houses like this, by the way. Everything that we've seen thus far shows that our character may be a struggling musician with a kid. And that we would be in an apartment of some... Oh, here come the flashing lights. And that we'd be in an apartment of some kind. But... Okay then. That we'd be in an apartment of some kind, but this is more of a house now. This is a house. Struggling musicians can't own houses like this. They don't. 
rather, unless they have a rather, you know, rich family. See, this shit is creepy. It's... I just wish it weren't a continuous game. Make a little more sense, to be honest, it is what I prefer. Are you gonna pop out at me? I mean, you clearly... You, you have talent, you know what you're doing, just... I'm... personally, I'm not a fan of continuous games like this. Of continuous horror games. Again, because... They just don't make a whole lot of sense to me. He's back. How are you doing? It's more like, I'm not a big fan of walking simulators, per se, um, I guess. And there's not really much of an objective here, except, you know, go forward and look at the creepy shit. That's really all it is, is just walk forward and look at all this creepy shit. I don't exactly see a narrative with this. Just renaissance paintings, mannequins for some reason, I guess because mannequins are creepy. Um, a twitchy monster. I think a demon? I saw a big demon a couple rooms ago. Um, musical stuff. Flashing lights. I mean, the dev for this clearly has a lot of talent. Because a lot of this stuff is really creepy, really unsettling. But. Did you? You did move. But, um. I don't see the purpose of putting it in a walking sim like this over. That's new. Over, you know, making an making a game. Not that walking sims aren't games, they're just, you know, not my kind of game. Make a silent hill game. Just do that. Or make something like that. I mean it's never gonna happen. Obviously, but you can get away with it. You can do that. I think you can get away with making a Silent Hill type of game because this is good, okay? This is a good game. For a continuous walking sim, it is a good game. Was that... am I going crazy? I don't know, man. I've heard that sound before. I will give it this. I will absolutely say this. This game, when it first starts, you're just thinking, this is another PT clone, this is another continuous, this is a, just, just something that really loves PT, but 
then you get to shit like this. Then you reach this moment. And just, it's going bananas. And while there has been a jump scare, one jump scare, I've counted one, it is mostly creepy atmosphere, which is good. <laughs> this looks normal. and we're gonna see if I'm right. This is gonna be locked. I'm gonna turn around and the hallway is back. Fuck. <laughs> I'm stuck in the wall, alright. That's exactly what they wanted me to think, isn't it? Now I have too many choices. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> that was weird. I wish Z wasn't to move forward, but you know, can't exactly help that. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. know what you're thinking, game. Oh. Oh. Okay. I thought it was gonna take the indie route and just end on a jump scare. There's your credits. This was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. A lot better. Like I said, at first it looked like it was just going to be another one of those continuous PT kind of games that started just flooding the indie space after PT came out. But you know, this one's actually pretty good. The developer definitely has a lot of talent to make just a whole bunch of creepy shit. Really, just my only problem is it's a continuous game, which I, I don't really like them that much. It's more of, to me, these continuous type games are... Look at my museum of creepy. And I don't like museums, I guess. So, that's really my only beef with it. Other than that, like, you can go on to make, like, an awesome game. Like a full-fledged, like again, just make Silent Hill. Konami's not gonna fucking do anything with it. <laughs> That's for damn sure. But yeah, 
this was really good. I'll catch you later. In an actual video, hopefully next time. And if you want these impressions to, to keep going, let me know. I will be happy to continue doing them. Bye.